Hey, what is happening, Beer World? Rajay back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Today, I'm going to actually take a look at one from Rogue Ales. This is their Juniper Pale Ale. So nothing really spectacular on the label. It's their typical kind of artwork. There we see a guy actually uh, enjoying a beer after a hard day of work, it looks like. And this one is actually brewed with Juniper berries so that's what you're seeing behind him kind of the uh the berry tree or whatever however berries usually grow so world champion pale is noted on here and dedicated to the rogue at each of us nothing else really uh standing out let's go ahead and get it open and get it into a glass and see what it has to offer so this one actually comes in at a 5.3 percent abv and I saw online 34 IBU, but there you go. As far as what it looks like in the glass there, you can actually see that it pours out pretty much a golden orange color. When you get it to the light, you do have a good amount of chill haze in play. So you're not seeing a lot of the carbonation. And I don't know if you can see all of this in here, but it is, like I said, made with juniper berry and there's some speckle type things in there which are either from the berries they may have used that got filtered into the beer or part of whatever um, was left over from some of the yeast or whatever proteins. I think it's more the berries though because they are a little bit darker in color. But sure, it'll be all right. Let's go ahead and get an aroma. Nice, flavorful aroma comes out of the glass. I do pick up a good amount of the juniper berry notes. It's got a nice fruity fragrance on the back in the background i do also pick up some of the malt and i do pick up some of the hops so pretty good nice little balanced backbone the hops adding a little bit of an earthiness to it and kind of the malts adding a little bit of that sweetness but nothing else too much outside of that as you can see here the uh head is already starting to break down more and dissipate so not going to we'll see how much lacing is left behind don't know if it'll leave a lot or not but it's already going down let's go ahead and get a taste not bad on the taste has a little bit of a refreshing quality to it it is a little bit thinner at 5.3 abv not surprised on that but it does open up nicely in the mouth on the back end it does have a nice dry finish as well uh, very crisp very refreshing Another good beer that gets off the tongue and up into the cheek area. It's really making its way around the mouth very nicely. A great mouth feel on it. Pretty much a medium body beer. Slight bitterness on the initial part. But nice and crisp, like I say, on the back. That it goes down without any harshness. Carbonation is pretty palatable. Not bad. I mean, for a fruit-type pale ale, actually it has a little bit of a nice quality to it. It's kind of different. Um, than some of the other American pale ales you usually come across obviously with them using juniper berries It adds a nice little refreshing quality there Not too bad at all now this one Actually has 11 ingredients malts Meyer Munich crystal triumph C15 great western two row hops Styrian golden Amarillo pearl specialty and then I'm sorry <laughs> Amarillo and then pearl specialty items are juniper berries and the yeast and water pac-man yeast free range coastal water so not too bad and they talk about the food pairing turkey or hot and spicy so this is something along those lines um that you can put with a dish that kind of fits into that and i can see that you know you have your ipas or your other pale ales usually do well with a lot of the spicy type foods in fact one of our local uh restaurants that's a mexican restaurant um, they actually just started offering a beer finally that was a craft beer on tap and it was an IPA and the IPA suits up greatly for the Mexican food. So any type of pale ale are uh, usually pretty good to have with any type of spicy type dish. But yeah, I would say definitely um, if you happen to see it, pick it up, check it out. I, th I find it kind of to be a little bit unique in it. And like I said, it's got a nice refreshing kick to it. So again, this is the Juniper Pale Ale from Rogue Ales. Definitely one uh, if you're a Pale Ale fan, I say give it a try. But with that being said, I appreciate you swinging by. Check out another video. 
as I mentioned earlier, not getting too much of the lacing as well before I let you go. And then down in the bottom, I don't know if you can see this, but you can see some of that settling from what was used as part of the ingredients, which I think are from the juniper berries. Um, the glass was perfectly clean, so I can't think of anything else that was in it. So hopefully I'm not contaminating myself. With that being said, thanks for swinging by. Um, as always, make sure you like, comment, uh, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as of yet. I look forward to catching you in the next video. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.